scripture and a prayer. I'm Pastor Arlen. Thank you for joining me today. I have a scripture for you. It's right here in Romans chapter 4, verse 8. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will never count against him. Do you know all those sins that you committed all your life? And when you just said one prayer and you asked God to forgive you, he forgave you. One prayer with a sincere heart, with a sincere attitude. Say, Lord, I ask you to forgive me. And when you've done that, then you're truly blessed because blessed is the man who sinned. The Lord will never count against him. In other words, as far as the east is from the west, he'll never remember your sin no more. It's like you never did it. And so today I want you to uh, take a hold of this great blessing. If you sin this morning, ask God to forgive you. And you know that you're blessed. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will never count against him. Why are you blessed? Because then it begins to put you back in to the realm of his favor. And, and into the realm to receive his inheritance. And all the great blessings that he's promised you. And if we do sin, what it does is it begins to pull us out of those blessings. And it begins to pull us out of his favor. But, praise God, he's made a way that we can come back to him. And if we come back to him, we ask him, Lord, forgive me. I ask you with a sincere heart, sincere attitude, that you will forgive me and wash me in the blood of Jesus, that I might not ever sin against you again. But if we do, we can come back. It's not that we mean to sin, but if we, the devil pulls us away, we, we can uh, uh, stop up some of those inheritances that we, we uh, have been promised. But then we ask him to forgive us. And then that blessing. No wonder he says, blessed is the man who sinned. The Lord will never count against him. Well, God bless you. Uh, I want to pray over you. Father, I pray for everyone under my voice. God, today that may this day. That they walk out of there, they take a hold of the and grip tight of the great blessing of knowing that their sins have been forgiven when they've asked you to forgive them. And that this is the confidence that we have in you, that if we ask anything according to your will, that you'll give it to us. God, we, we want to walk in wisdom. We want to walk in your favor. We want to walk in your health. And Father, today I just pray supernaturally God that everyone under my voice God that they just reach out and receive the blessings of the promise in Jesus name amen God bless you glad you joined me and I will see you next time